Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the Toy 2 Meter X-Tail electric fuselage setup. Because I'm building one of these uh, for a customer. And I think I've already shown the electric V-Tail. See, I'm not sure, but the um, front area here is basically the same as the electric V-Tail. And it's a two-piece fuselage. And the uh, electric fuselage is wider than the pure glider um, to accommodate the motor and battery and ESC and all that. And uh, the nose comes pre-cut to, I think, 30 millimeters. Actually, 28, 28 millimeters. And uh, it's got some nice molded features here that kind of. Uh, key into the boom and the two parts are just held together with tape like this now at the back we have the X-tail and I don't know that I've ever gone over in a lot of detail what the X-tail parts look like but a lot of people we're asking for an X-Tail version when the model first was released. And uh, now we have one. So this is the elevator. You see these recesses here that jig into the fuselage. So a lot of detail back here. Pre-installed ball link on the rudder push rod. And these go together quite easily. Slide the rudder onto the elevator and then uh, basically that'll just slides onto the boom. Like that. Everything fits really nicely. It's got the uh, pre installed metal horn on the rudder as is usual on the CCM models and it just goes together with uh, this one screw tightens everything together so um, I'm gonna go over putting the servos in I'll zoom in on the servo bay here really nice molded in recesses for KST X08s and I'm assuming they're going to go something like this. And they give you um, some plastic clevises with the kit, but I don't know that I'm going to use those. I'm going to try to use small ball links, or if I can't use those, I'll use L bends because I have a feeling that. Uh, we're not going to need a lot of travel on the servos. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually hook up the uh, push rods onto the rudder and elevator. And I'm just going to move, move them around a little bit and see how much travel we need to get the deflection that we want. Alright, I got the push rods hooked up at the tail and just moving them by hand. I can tell that we're not going to need very big horns on the servos. And if we use those clevises, um, we're going to have to run fairly large horns, and I don't want to do that. We get good up travel, but uh, the down seems limited, and I think that elevator horn is hitting the back of the fuselage, so I might have to uh, do some work with the file there to get a little more down travel. But nevertheless, what we're going to do is try to uh, see what we're going to use at the servos to hook up the push rod. Well, looking at this setup a little closer, I don't think I can use ball links because the distance um, from the servo arm to the side of the fuselage might be too tight for the ball link. Um, so I'm thinking about just using a piece of rod to make an L-bend and some uh, stainless steel tubing here as a coupler 
but one other option I'm going to explore is, you know, these XO8s come with the kind of uh, reverse mount horns. So let me just pull one out here. So, you know, typically there's this step here on a servo horn and that would go towards the servo so in this case it would be like this but uh, KST makes kind of reverse ones that pushes the arm closer to the servo so we might be able to use this guy with a ball link so I'm just gonna quickly check that out I'm gonna get a small ball link and see if everything clears All right, we're actually kind of already set up the the rudder push rod here, the, this ball link isn't glued on, but um, this is going to work out quite well. And again, we're using the um, kind of the inverted horn, and I trimmed that down, so it's, it's this guy here. And we're going to be using the second hole from the center, so that one right there. And I think that's going to work out just fine for both the rudder and the elevator, so I've already drilled holes and kind of just temporarily mounted this servo in and I need to trim the uh, carbon push rod just a little bit more because it's not quite centered but what I'm going to do is uh, just set up the arm for the the elevator so I'm just going to snip off the extra sides that we don't need And then I'm going to cut uh, the end of this off because it'll hit the fuselage, it's too long. Then just grab your rotary tool or your Dremel or whatever you want to call it with a uh, one of these sanding drums and we'll, we'll clean this up. And then I'll just continue to clean that up a little bit with a file and then I'm going to open up that hole to about 1.5 millimeters to accept the screw for the ball link. Tape the elevator in a somewhat neutral position on both sides and I have screwed down the elevator servo here and we have the ball link attached and I'm just going to take a paint pen and I'm not using couplers, I'm just going to glue these ball links directly to the uh, carbon push rod but I'm going to use the paint pen just to mark where I might want to cut it and I usually err on the side of cutting slightly too long and I can just use a file to fine tune it if need be. So there's a little bit to cut here. Make sure your servo arm is perpendicular to the servo and we can cut that. Then we'll scuff up the push rods and we can bond those in. Okay, we're ready to glue up the ball links now and I've um, taped up the rudder and the elevator uh, in the neutral positions and I zoom in here I've trimmed the push rods and I uh, sanded them and scored them a little bit with a file just to give the epoxy a nice uh, bond and I've sort of ground down let me zoom in real, real close sort of tapered the end of the ball links. So there's a little rough spot on the outside and I'll try to lap over some epoxy on those. 
Um, but basically, we're ready to go here. So let me let me uh, undo the the ball links here, and I have some epoxy mixed up. It's got a little bit of uh, metal wire I'm going to use. So this is a really slow cure epoxy with a little bit of cabosil mixed in. And I'm just going to try to kind of ram this into the, into the ball links here. And I'll also put some on the uh, push rods. Okay. Should be pretty good. Now I will carefully try to insert these and uh, we're going to want to make sure the servo arms are perpendicular to the push rods and I've already used the servo tester to kind of center these uh, but I'm going to just eyeball them and make sure that they're perpendicular okay move this around looks pretty good you know I'm not getting as much epoxy oozing out as I would like on the elevator so I'm gonna actually undo this and uh, get some more going here just so we we're sure we have a really good bond there we go and again I'll try to get these perpendicular that's looking pretty good to me okay happy with that and then I'm just gonna use this uh, piece of rod here just kinda clean up the epoxy a little bit I did drill uh, about a 1.5 millimeter hole through the ball link perpendicular to the push rod um, that also allows the epoxy to get a better bite into the ball ball link you can see that epoxy that uh, oozed out of those holes and just want to make sure we have a little bit of epoxy kind of on those areas I ground on the end of the ball links kind of make a nice fill it oh, that's looking really good so 
So happy with that. I'm just going to double check that the tails are still centered. Yep, and they're looking pretty good, so I'm just going to set this aside for about a day or so and let that epoxy fully cure. Okay, well the epoxy's all cured. Everything's looking really nice. Um, now I was just checking the throws and the rudder's fine, but again, if I go try to get down elevator throw, um, I'm really not getting all that much. So something is hitting and I'm going to have to take a look at that and see if I can get more down throw. Let me see if I can show you what I did here. I basically used the Dremel, this guy, and ground just a little bit of material right here because that's where the horn was hitting the elevator horn and I'm gonna reassemble this and see if I can get more down throw I think we're just about done I just got the servo tester hooked up and we're gonna look with, see what the uh, throws look like so we get plenty of up and much more down travel after I opened up the back of the fuselage a bit and let's test the rudder That's looking great. So there we go, I think we're all done. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So this applies to the electric toy 2 meter um, X-tail. And it actually also applies to the V-tail because you mount the uh, servos basically in the same exact manner. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.